Young people nowadays, especially young people nowadays, say, I don't know what I should do. Start telling me what I should do. What should I major in? What kind of job should I do? And they don't do anything. And they get 30 bits of advice from someone. Then they go to someone else and get another 40 bits of advice. Then they go to someone else and get another 50 bits of advice. And they have all this advice from all these people and they say, well, I asked a hundred people and I got a hundred different kinds of advice. Yes, that's because you asked a hundred people and you got a hundred different kinds of advice because human beings are individuals. They're going to give you individual advice. Until you put yourself to work, you're not going to discover who you are. You're not going to know your strengths and you're not going to know your weaknesses. Stop being afraid of work. Stop being afraid of jumping in, trying something, failing. Failure is good for you. It exposes the holes in the wall. It exposes what you need to work on. It also exposes the few things that you are good at and maybe you should refine them even more. But that does not happen until you grind it out. Until you throw yourself in the middle, in the mix. You know, I'd like you to think of the fact that you know, our ruh is from alam al-amr. But this life that Allah gave us here, in which we can put ourselves to work and discover ourselves is not an unlimited life, is it? So, between coming of age and sleep, and then old age where you pretty much become senile, we don't have a lot of years to figure ourselves out, to put ourselves to work. So don't be afraid to try things. Allah has given us this incredible adventure in the world. Don't be scared to try stuff. Try, I mean, the fact that you've taken the adventure to try to learn Arabic is cool, but this is just the beginning. Try things in business. Try things in your education. Try things in, you know, try a different kind of job. Try things. And if you live your life just afraid, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. I'm not sure if it's, I'm going to succeed at that or not. And those are the kinds of people that will only sit on the sidelines and not do anything in life. You know, you have to stop being afraid of failure. You have to work on your shakila. You, just, you have to let go of that inhibition. And once you let go of it, amazing things will happen in your life. When you stop being depressed about failures. You know, my favorite student, I've taught, you know, Dream's been around for now five, you guys are year number five, it's crazy. You guys are year number five. One of my favorite students of all time, I'm not gonna name him. You know what his problem was? Allah created, I say Allah created him not to learn Arabic. That's what I say about him, he's my favorite student. I love him to death. This guy, no matter how hard, and he studied harder than anyone else I know. Day in, day out, he's sitting in class, breaks, everybody else is playing ping pong or slapping each other, he's studying. People are taking lunch breaks, he's studying. He's buried in the notes, he's buried in review, he's always asking questions, studying, studying, studying. He's got piles and piles of notebooks that are filled up with his notes and get another one, and another one, and another one. His hand's starting to hurt. No, I'm not gonna use a laptop, because that's for lazy people. I'm gonna study. And he's one of my close friends. He, he and I used to hang out a lot before. I was like, hey, why don't you come learn some Arabic? He goes, yeah, I'll do it. And he jumps in. And then now during the year, I call him, hey, you wanna go hang out, get some pizza or something? No, bro, I gotta study. I'm his teacher during the day. And at night I'm thinking, hey, you wanna go hang out? No, bro, I gotta study. Thanks a lot, click. <laughs> and he, on so many exams, failed miserably. Failed miserably, but I don't feel bad for him at all. That is effort worth doing. That, and there are people who did not apply themselves and got easy hundreds. And I'm, I don't, first of all, I don't even think it was worth their time, the education they received. And I don't respect what they did. I respect what he did. He's, I'm going to try something and I'm going to give it my best. I'm not going to run at the first sign of failure. I'm not just going to walk away and just do something else. You know, where there's this idea that even the, the, the line of work you're going to do, the career, the pursuits you're going to make, the efforts you're going to make, so long as you find them enjoyable, you should do it. The moment you have a boring day or two, you should be like, I need to do something else. I'm going to move on to something else. Really? Really? This is not Jannah. You have good days and bad days. This life is like that. When shower, favors are being showered, everything's happy. I'm perfect. This is the way I need to be. 
And the moment things don't go your way, kana ya usa. Become super depressed. I don't know if this is the thing for me. I don't know if I should even be doing this. It happens to students, they fail one test. Or no, no, not fail, sorry. Got a 95, astaghfirullah. How will you show your face to your parents? Who will marry you now that you have a 95? You know? I don't know if I should drop out now because it's not even worth it anymore. Are you serious? Put, you know, get a little, grow a spine. Grow a spine, grow a thick skin. Put your, apply yourself in whatever you do. In whatever you do. And this is not just about your studies at the program, at, at Dream. This is beyond that. In life, have that attitude. Whatever you jump into, really dive in. Dive in, dive all in. Yes, seek counsel, but don't overseek counsel. Don't keep getting advice and getting advice and getting advice and not doing anything. You know, you have a few people in your life you can trust. And you, sometimes some people, you know, they, 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 like, they get into this habit where they like to get advice from people, they know they're going to get two different answers. Because they, they, they live off of the confusion. They feed off of it. They use that as a scapegoat to not do anything. Well, he said this, but you said this. And they wait for you to say something and say, but he said this. You could have told me that before I told you anything, but... You know what? Seek advice, but seek advice with a purpose. And seek advice with some trust. You shouldn't just ask random people. By the way, if you're seeking contradictory advice from people, you know what that says? That says, first of all, you have no confidence, number one. And number two, it says you don't trust people. You don't trust them. Why are you asking their advice if you want an alternative opinion? You don't have to take everybody's opinion. You don't have to take my opinion, or Sheikh Omar Suleiman's opinion, or Sheikh Abdul Nasser's opinion, or anybody's opinion for that matter. You consider their opinion, and you make your own judgment. But once you make your own judgment, فَإِذَا azant, When you make a decision, فَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ Trust Allah and move on with life. Trust Allah. This is how you get to discover yourself. And that's actually a very important lesson in life that Muslims, all of you, have to internalize. And inshallah ta'ala, great things will come for you in life and for the benefit of others in your life if you internalize this. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Hakim wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bil ayat wa dhikr al-Hakim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.